Thank you, Steve. Well, it's something that's called the dance of the lemons. Instead of firing bad teachers, the lemons are moved to other districts. The process is detailed in the new documentary, Waiting for Superman. Just one of the reasons the schools in this country are failing miserably. Joining me now, Howard Fuller, the founder and chairman, Black Alliance for Education Options, and the former superintendent for Milwaukee Public Schools. Good morning to you, Mr. Fuller. Uh, good morning. I'm the former chair. Kevin Chavis is now the chair. All right. Thank you for explaining that. But you are in oh, the sure. documentary Waiting for Superman. I saw you as the you were speaking about the, being the former superintendent of the Milwaukee school systems and this term that you coined in this documentary, the dance of the lemons. What did you have to do? What do you mean by that term with bad teachers? Well, what I was... Well, what I was discussing was that there was a provision in the contract that allowed for administrators to trade their bad teachers because it was so difficult to get rid of bad teachers. So rather than get rid of them, they simply traded them. Now, some of these teachers may have been bad in that school for reasons having to do with that school, but most of them were people who should not have been allowed to continue teaching. And the reason that you had to do the dance of the lemons is because it was absolutely impossible to fire them because of the union regulations, right? Yes, because of provisions in the contract and because of what principals had to go through to try to get rid of bad teachers. It was extremely difficult to do that. I'm not sure whether or not that's still true in every district in this country, but I know that it is still true in some. Right, because it's documented in Waiting for Superman, the immense amount of paperwork that you would have had to have gone through and the time deadlines that you were up against to try and get rid of the bad teacher. So what did you do, sir, in that position? You knew that you had some bad teachers. You just pass them off to another school district and then you'd get your own share of bad lemons too? Yeah, not only was it an issue of teachers, but that also existed for principals. So when you see the movie, that's really uh, what we're referring to, although quite frankly, the movie is really about the power of parent choice and what it means for poor parents in this country not to have the kind of choices that the president has for his own children. And so it's unconsciousable that we will continue to have that in this country. Very good point. Let me uh, have you listen to Randy Weingarten. She is the president of American Federations of Teachers. She was on the Geraldo show last night. Here's what she had to say. There's no epidemic of bad teachers in the United States of America, but there is um, a complicated, tough strategy in terms of helping all kids achieve. There's a lot of great public schools that know how to do it. Only about half the, teach, half the school districts in America have teacher union contracts. Most of these teacher union contracts are done between management and labor. Take tenure for a second. Tenure is really due process. I think all... Tenure America, is due process. It's due process. Do you agree with that, Mr. Fuller? Tenure, you know, in other words, that the teacher is safe from the day that they start their job to receive pensions for life. I do not believe that anybody ought to have a job for life. I think that people ought to be protected, but I do not believe in tenure. And I think there are other ways to protect people without giving them a lifetime job. And while she might say there's not an epidemic, if you're in a school that has a terrible teacher, the fact that there's no epidemic is not great news to you. So I think that that's just a bogus point, frankly. Mr. Fuller, what has happened to our children in the public schools because you cannot fire bad teachers? Well, first I want to say that there are great teachers in public schools throughout this country, as there are great teachers in all schools. There are also terrible teachers. And the fact of the matter is that if a kid has a terrible teacher, it has a huge impact on their education. And we ought not in America allow this to continue. Very well said. Howard Fuller, uh, thank you so much for your role in Waiting for Superman and for being our guest today. Oh, thank you very much.